Welcome to Math Cognizant. Today's topic of discussion is the number system. As we all know, a number is a mathematical value used for counting, measuring objects, labeling, ordering, sequencing. The numbers are represented in a unique manner and allow us to do arithmetical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Therefore, the number system is a system representing numbers. It is also called the system of numeration and it defines a set of value to represent a quantity. First topic we have here is the natural numbers. Natural numbers are used for counting the objects and are uh, denoted by capital N. So the examples of natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and goes on till infinity. These numbers are being used for counting the objects in everyday life. All the positive integers are natural numbers. The second topic of discussion here is a whole number. You can see from the example above something is missing. What number is missing to make the set complete? It is 0. Therefore, whole numbers are basically the natural numbers, but they also include 0. Whole numbers are represented by the symbol W. Examples of whole number are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, until infinity. So, 0 have to be included there. Next topic is the integers. Integers are denoted by capital I or capital Z. These are the collection of whole numbers plus the negative values of the natural numbers. The range of integers is from the infinity at the negative end and infinity at the positive end including 0. Therefore, all natural numbers, zeros and negatives of the natural numbers are called as integers. Here you can see the number line. And on the left side of 0 are all negative integers. So, integer ranges from negative infinity. And on the right side of the number line, there are all positive integers. Eventually, integers are negative, 0 and positive natural numbers. Most important characteristic of integers are it cannot be written in a form of a fraction as p over q or numerator over the denominator. We cannot write integers in this form. Next concept is about the fractions. Fractions are the numbers that can be written in a form of a over b where a belongs to whole number and b belongs to natural number. a is called as a numerator and b is a denominator and b belongs to the group of natural numbers and as you know natural numbers do not have any zero in it therefore denominator can have any number except zero now the fractions are of three different types proper fraction improper fraction and mixed fractions Let's represent this fraction in the form of p over q where p is the numerator and q is the denominator. So in proper fraction q is always greater than p. So example of proper fraction is 3 over 4 where the numerator is smaller and the denominator is greater comparatively. And next type of fraction is improper fraction. In this case the numerator will be greater than the denominator. So 5 over 2 is an example of improper fraction and this fraction can be changed into mixed fraction by doing the long division method. Third type is a mixed fraction where a which is an integer and p over q is a fraction part. In mixed fraction q is greater than p that means denominator is always greater than the numerator. Uh, you can easily change an uh, improper fraction into a mixed fraction by long division method where quotient act as an integer 
remainder will be a numerator and the denominator is the divisor itself for example 7 over 3 when we do the long division for this fraction we get a quotient as 2 and remainder as 1 and 3 which is the divisor will be remained as a denominator therefore we can change an improper fraction into mixed fraction number system series have been continued please watch part 2 uh, to know more about rational numbers, irrational numbers, real numbers, imaginary numbers. Hope you understood this concept. Please like, subscribe and press the bell button to get notified on our latest videos.